So welcome to the site of the new Science and Academic Building at the University of Lethbridge. My name is Matthew Letts and I'm the Associate Dean in the Faculty of Arts and Science and I'm serving as the Academic Program Manager uh, for the new Science and Academic Building uh, which essentially means that I serve as a liaison between the faculty because we have to make sure their needs are met and project management, the experts who are building this building. It's a really exciting time to be uh, here at the U of L as we have established uh, the 50% point in the construction of this new building and we're marking our 50th anniversary at this point. Uh, 50 years ago when Arthur Erickson designed the iconic University Hall, uh, we never envisioned the level of scientific research activity that would be taking place today. And so what this new building is doing is it's lifting the constraints imposed upon our science researchers. So you can see there's a lot of activity going on here today as we build this building which will serve the needs not only of our researchers but for our teaching needs and our community outreach. This new building is going to provide our researchers with state-of-the-art opportunities to carry out their research. We also will be staying true to our mission of liberal education. Uh, one small element of liberal education is making connections among disciplines. And this facility will promote transdisciplinarity by providing shared research spaces that can be distributed among our five departments that are going inside. These would be neuroscience, physics and astronomy, chemistry and biochemistry, biological sciences, and psychology. And so they'll be working together in many cases within shared spaces uh, to carry out their research. Let's focus on the teaching as well. There's a need at this institution for more, more teaching spaces, both in terms of large lecture halls, all the way down through uh, new opportunities like scale-up facilities. This is where we have active learning environments, upside down pedagogies, all the way down to small Socratic seminar style rooms. And so our teaching is going to be experiential. Our teaching is also going to give people the opportunity to be innovative. The building will have maker spaces where students, not just in the sciences, but from across campus, can meet together and they can work on innovative projects that either are set up for them just to be creative or may even result in spin-offs through our agility program. Community engagement is a number one priority as well at this institution. We are increasingly are doing more and more outreach and this new facility will actually have a dedicated space to promote our destination exploration program as well as other outreach opportunities. Lastly, the learning is informal as well. The informal learning spaces are increasingly important uh, because of the way that we learn today. People like to sit down and chat about uh, interdisciplinary research, chat about their lives and the needs of society. We understand at the University of Lethbridge the importance of the university and society and these open atrium spaces and other alternative spaces for learning will enhance our ability to serve the needs of society today. I thought I'd talk about a few of the design elements of this new building, the Science and Academic Building at the University of Lethbridge. One of those elements is science on display. We want our community to become engaged in science. We want our young people to see what's going on here and be inspired to do science. And so there's going to be a lot of glass opening right into some of the areas where we're doing our, our research and also into our outreach space. And so people feel like they're part of a community here. So physical geography is the study of the Earth. Oh, sorry, I was just getting a little bit excited, uh, imagining myself uh, running the first lecture in the Science and Academic Building. As you look around, where we're standing right now is in the link between the Science and Academic Building and the iconic University Hall. And so here we have a set of classrooms. These are 120 seat classrooms that will serve as lecture spaces uh, in the new Science and Academic Building. It's a really special place because it's part of the connection that completes the loop on campus. We're on Blackfoot land here, this beautiful territory uh, overlooking the Old Man River Valley. And it will force everyone to develop an appreciation of this fantastic space as you go to class. And so it's really exciting to actually be able to envision uh, the space where students will be learning on campus uh, for the next 50 years.